good afternoon today i am giving you a lecture on uh, steam turbine by dr fazal ahmed assistant professor sirt actually what is uh, what do you understand by this steam turbine steam turbine uh, produces steam through a boiler as you can see in this slide steam is produced in the in this boiler which is uh, basically uh, water tube boiler and water is passing through it and, uh, and it has been fired from outside from the hearth of a furnace and the steam is generated and this steam generated steam is passes through this turbine and the process of turbine and it useful work is been done and the rest of the steam is be condensed into the condenser and this working done and, and it, this turbine is been coupled with the generator and electricity is been produced so this is the basic uh, process now definition what do you mean by this uh, steam turbine is uh, the steam turbine is one kind of heat engine machine in which steam of heat energy is contained to mechanical wire it consists of a rotor a set of rotating blades which are attached to the shaft and the shaft is placed in the middle of the rotor and electric generator known as steam turbine generator is connected to the rotor the turbine generator collects the mechanical energy from the shaft and converts it into electric energy steam turbine generator also improve the turbine efficiency now working principle working principle of steam turbine depends on the dynamic action of the steam a high velocity steam is coming from the nozzle and it strikes the rotating blade which are fitted on a disc mounted on a shaft the high velocity steam produces dynamic pressure on the blades in which blades and shaft both start to rotate in the same direction basically in a steam turbine pressure energy of a steam extracts and then it converts into kinetic energy by allowing the steam to flow through the nozzles the conversion of kinetic energy does mechanical work to rotor blades and the rotor is connected to the steam turbine generator which acts as a mediator the turbine generator collects mechanical energy from the rotor and converts into electrical energy according to working principle there are different types of steam turbine according to working principle a steam turbine are mainly divided into two categories impulse turbine and reaction turbine other category that is impulse turbine means when steam strikes the moving blades to the nozzle called impulse and when it strikes the moving blade under pressure via guide mechanism called reaction turbine right this is the basic difference between impulse and reaction turbine now according to the direction of steam flow it may be classified into two categories that is axial flow steam turbine and radial flow steam turbine when the flow of the steam inside the casing is parallel to the rotor shaft axis then it is called axial flow turbine and the flow of the steam inside the casing is radial to the rotor shaft axis is called radial flow turbine now other types are according to the exhaust condition of steam it is further divided into two categories back pressure non condensing steam and condensing type steam turbine after expansion of steam it is exhausted into atmosphere called back pressure steam turbine non condensing type steam turbine otherwise it is exhausted into this according to pressure steam it may be divided into following categories high pressure or pass out and medium pressure and low pressure according to the number of stages it may be divided into following categories single stage and multi stage steam is coming from the nozzle when passed through a single set of moving blades for a single stage steam turbine according to the blade and wheels arrangement it may be divided into following categories pressure compounding velocity compounding and pulse compounding right now this is the basic difference between a steam turbine and a steam engine conversion of steam energy to mechanical work there is no friction loss high friction losses for separating parts balance is good balance is not so good balancing is required in steam turbine we all know that foundation is lightweight its foundation is heavyweight steam engine and it can run at high speed very high speed it can not run at such a high speed lubrication is is uh, simple as there is no rubbing parts and power generation is uniform is not uniform steam consumption is less than the respiring steam turbine it consumes more steam turbine it is more compact steam engine require more now these are the basic difference third one is types it's impulse turbine what do you mean by impulse action turbine you can see the image impulse turbine there is some fixed nozzle and moving blades are present on the disc mounted on the shaft the moving blades is are in symmetrical other order the steam enters the turbine casing with some pressure after that it passes through one or more number of fixed nozzles uh, into the turbine the relative velocity of the steam at the outlet of the moving blades is the same as the inlet of the blade 
So this is the steam to the nozzle it will pass through it through the brakes and it rotates, which is happening here. You can see here. It is rotating. So this is an impossible example of this is delay level turbine. High visibility steam the jet of the steam flows to the pit nozzle and strike the blade with constant pressure. Impulse turbine steam produces only impulse force to the blades. Okay. Now this one is uh, impulse ejection turbine. You can see that the steam is flowing inside the turbine and passing throughout and the water is coming out of the jets. And it is moving in this direction. This blade is moving in this direction. The impulse ejection turbine depends on the reaction force by the steam. Here the steam flows to the nozzle at the end of the tube and it is supported on the bearing. The outlet relative velocity of the steam is much less than at the inlet of the blade. Relative velocity is very less. Inlet is very less. The nozzle will move on the bearing in the opposite direction of the steam and the pressure is not constant in the turbine. That's why the reaction force is also applied. Okay. Now, this is the difference between impulse and reaction turbine. Impulse turbine, only impulsive force strikes the blade. In the reaction turbine, vectors move impulse in the reactive force. Like this is important point. Strike the blade, fits to the rotor. Hence, it is more powerful. The steam expands completely when it passes through the nozzle and uh, pressure remains constant. Pressure can't expand fully, it passes and expands when it passes through the nozzle and rest. Blades are symmetrical shape, blades are symmetrical. Since the velocity of the steam is high, speed is high, but the reaction turbine is much lower than the impulse turbine because uh, steam is still lower in the reaction turbine compared to the impulse turbine. For producing the same power, the number of stages required are much less. It requires more stages to develop the same power. Now, this is the velocity diagram. You see that they come through the nozzle, the steam is striking to the this blade and it's coming at velocity V1. Suppose this is the velocity V1, this is striking to the blade. And we are going to relative velocity of this uh, blade and Vs1 is the relative velocity of the steam, as you can find here, and Vs1 is the velocity of the blade. And U1 is the, U is the velocity of the blade with which it is moving at this direction, Vw1 and alpha1. And this one is Vs2, V2, and Vr2 is the Velocity after of steam after passing through the blade and velocity of the blade E is the same. Take these other velocity triangles and its uh, headings. You can see it here. Axial velocity and outlet. And this is combined velocity diagram. This VA1, VA2, V1, V2. Before steam before entering and after going, it can be compared. And U is common. You see the U, the velocity of blade is common. Hence it is been here at the Vector A and B, vector diagram, right? So this is a general idea. Now, hope oh, you like the video. Thanks.